Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is in the waning crescent phase under the astrological sign of Scorpio. This reading is for Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Libra, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides. What is the message for Libra? Under this waning crescent moon, the Holy Spirit, what chakras are important right now to start this reading? One more card. Thank you. You open up with renewal. Something at your very core is being renewed, restored. Yeah. Because you're allowing yourself to be led by your intuition. And when something presents itself that doesn't go along with what your intuition is saying, you, you're rejecting it, Libra. You know, you are all about balance, right? Peace, um, judgment. In a way, I feel like you're passing judgment on yourself where you're doing some self-assessment and, um, you know, feeling like what you're deserving of. Um, some major instinctual changes are happening at your core, which is transforming you. Um, major transformation, regeneration. And, you know, under a waning crescent mood, it's all about recuperating from something, preparing for a new cycle, surrendering to what no longer is in your control. And I don't know, I feel like you're allowing fate to take the wheel, Libra. Um, you're paying attention to your intuition. It's off the charts. It seems to be right also. Mm -hmm. Some Leo, Lib you could be dealing with a Libra. I wanted to say Leo's. I mean, you could be dealing with a Leo. I wanted to say Leo, Libra. But your instincts are like right on point. Your intuition, when it tells you to leave a situation, you're learning that it's right. You're getting a new sense of comfortability with your intuition. Some of you are hearing the voice. It's this very low-keyed voice. While the world is screaming around you, you're finally able to focus in on this small voice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Whew, something new is on the verge. Um, someone new. Yeah, okay. Breathing in and out. I just heard something is going to happen that's going to take your breath away. Please leave me a message and tell me. Oh, Libra, Spirit wants you to know you can handle this. Um, you have everything that you need to handle the situation. It's going to catch you by uh, a little off guard. You know, it's hot. I mean, it's more climatic than you expected I think you have to catch your breath take time to breathe out yeah but this is something new um, you feel it coming in the air it's instinctual that you're you know something's coming you know something is approaching mm -hmm. yeah it's time to take action this is action you were inspired to take as a result of your intuition inspiring you, your angel guides, your spirit guides. This is what we talk about when your intuition tells you something. Mm, that spirit communicating to you. Libra. I'm just being told for you to leap. Don't think about it. If it comes from your intuition in the small voice that you finally come to recognize, just leap. Take the action. It's inspired action. Mm -hmm. You have to know your worth. You have to feel that you're capable of achieving. You are good enough. Yes, you are good enough. That means whatever spirit is getting ready to make happen for you, you deserve it. You know how to handle it. You're good enough than any other person. 
you're very valuable. You should pursue it. Be tenacious. Open your heart. First quarter moon in Libra. Mm. Yes, look at that. This is about your heart. Spirit is preparing you to open your heart. This is a different feeling. 2023 brings a new sense of your spirituality because you're definitely listening to your intuition and your worth. That's right, Libra. Your sense of worth, your value has increased. Mm-hmm. I feel a blessing coming. I feel a blessing coming for you. Maybe it's already come. This blessing is going to impact you at the core. Going to recall. It's going to generate all of this transformation. Look at that. Didn't I say transformation? You don't get more transforming when you're the magician. What you're calling into existence is a new you. Look at this. You have two major cards qualifying this renewal. Yeah, this is something that was supposed to happen. It's inspired action, like I said. You're inspired to take this action, and spirit feels you deserve it with justice. Listen to your spiritual eyes. Let them be the guide. Listen to your spiritual eyes. Yes, because listen to that small voice. Sometimes it's just your spiritual eyes that are telling you, go this way, go that way. It's all for protection. Mm, your protection. And to allow you to accomplish what you're setting out to do. Yeah, this rejection is anybody or anything that's trying to deter you from what your intuition is telling you to do. Remember, you know, Satan's plans or the lower energy's plans is to distract you from this renewal, from all this light. They see this blessing occurring with the magician and the justice. Others see that too. They're trying to block that. Why? Because you're the mother of cops. You know, the, I love the Mother of Cups. That's the most loving energy in the tarot, right? And we know that God controls love. Think about it. You know, Jesus was born to a mother who didn't even have sex, was inseminated. Talk about the Mother of Cups, the highest level of love. Oof. No, let's keep going. Okay. Boom, temperance, Sagittarian energy, wow, confidence. So you have three major arcanas already. <laughs> Libra, this is all about spiritual uplifting, uplifting, but also spirit preparing you for something good. Something requiring you to control your thoughts and to think thoughts of love. Yeah, this is definitely coming from spirit. The Eight of Wands is direct communication, but out from the sky, from the heavens. It's inspired. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, spirit. What about knowing their worth? What's very important for Libra right about now? Yeah, you have the ability to create anything and everything you could ever want. I think sometimes you doubt yourself and spirit doesn't, this is not a time for you to doubt yourself. Okay, spirit. That mother of wands has to be upright. Yeah, there could be some confidence, some courage that's missing um, as a result of maybe a rejection or just a feeling of not valuing yourself, not respecting yourself, prioritizing you as the number one person in your life. When you see the strength card reverse, the mother of wands reverse, that's you not being able to do what you want to do, be who you're destined to be. Um, just because something has disrupted your flow or is blocking you at the current moment. 
Tell me what's going on here with Libra when it comes to love, Holy Spirit. Some of you want to have children and you're not able to. And Spirit is saying... Um, could be a past issue. This could exist from a past issue. But it's time to think and only think on what it is you want. When you have the magician, it's like, and justice. Justice is about getting what you deserve. And remember, Spirit already talked about your worth. Where that needs to, you need to know who you are, Libra. It's time to take action where you're turning your situation around in preparation for achieving what it is that you want. See, I think you've got a lot going on with the pentacle, the wand, the sword, and the cup. There's a lot. There's not just one thing we're talking about here. There's a multitude of things and blessings are coming, but you have to be ready to receive those blessings by knowing you deserve it, by seeking them, by keeping, by being confident and, and going after them. Holy Spirit, let us all be confident and go after what it is that we want. Yeah. You know, you are in a state of attraction, definitely with this energy of renewal. Um, divine is speaking to you very loving very loving and but and sometimes i think though their doubt creeps in this rejection doubt you know because of whatever happened in the past to make you feel doubt to question whether you're good enough but you are good enough Somebody from the past may come back because they want to reconcile with you, Libra. Um, we are still in Mercury retrograde, so the past can come back. Or somebody recently came back. Spirit is saying that you could have attracted this energy because you weren't feeling yourself. Mm -hmm. The Mother of Wands and the Strength card was reversed qualifying knowing your worth um okay you could have attracted this energy so definitely listen to your intuition where that is concerned whoever is coming back is because the strength card was reversed and the mother of wands was reversed so maybe yeah yeah, you mirrored this relationship. This is what you attracted because of the image you were portraying. They came back. This is a past person. You're a reflection of your wounds. Yes. Mm. You Be careful of somebody who may have wounded you in the past. I don't know whether or not you want to let them in at this time while you're focusing on your renewal, your transformation. Yes. Okay, what a spirit. Yeah, this is an axe. This was a breakup. You two aren't together. That's why you have the five of pentacles, because this person abandoned you in the past. Mm-hmm. You have other options right now. We just talked about them. You know why they're coming back? They see the magician. They feel justice is knocking at the door and they know that you're very loving you're you're peaceful you're ruled by venus love you know yeah mm -mm. I, I think you're being told that you have other options i mean of course you can always do whatever you want to do but i think you're being told that you're good enough you're better you're better than good enough you know you have other options mm. Spirit doesn't want you to settle. <laughs> okay. What else? Holy Spirit. What else does Libra need to know about love? 
Yeah, this person's been watching you. This person who wants to reconcile. Like I said, they see the magician. And um, they see... <laughs> yeah. Mm. You know, this is somebody you've been around the block with them. You've been there and done that. And there's no resolve. The cycle just continues. The highs are highs, but the lows are lows. Um, this, uh, mm -hmm. listen to your intuition, for sure, for sure, mm. okay, because there could have been, but you attracted this person, pay attention um, to attracting the past, and that's keeping them in your thoughts and continuing to play the same situation. Mm -mm. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, you've done some work, and that's why you have all of these major arcanas that show up. You have four right now. And so there's some spiritual leveling up that has occurred. Keep going. Always look up. Anybody who's supposed to be with you spiritually is going to show up on your path. Ooh. Yeah, because you're elevating now and, and you have a choice to return to the past. But Spirit's asking you to look towards the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you deserve somebody who's devoted to you because you're devoted. When you give Libra, you really give of yourself. You balance the scales. You're just, you're honest. And um, when you're not, you know, you, you go through a self-assessment. You have a conscience. That's what I'm trying to say. When, when you're not, your conscience moves tells you to move the dial and you do that because your goal is always about love and peace and there's something deeper that awaits you give me some final cards here mm -hmm. what else do we want to say something that's worthy of you and you're worthy of them mm -hmm. the past has been destroyed I, I'm getting the this destruction card is that this is over. They separated from you. That was this feeling of abandonment up there in the past. And it's over. And sometimes as things that spirit has freed you from, be careful of attracting it back, of calling it back. Ooh. Libra. Okay. Am I going to leave it there, spirit? Yeah. Some of you are alone right now because you're preparing for the fifth dimension. Nobody can go with you there. You got to go solo because that's where you meet people that are in that dimension. This is all about advancement, your spiritual advancement. We know that because the third eye appeared twice and because you're being changed spiritually at your core, at your center. This is a transformation, a renewal. <laughs> Four major arcana showed up for you. I'm going to leave it there, Libra. I hope you were able to... I resonate with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. But leave me a comment. Tell me what you could resonate with. For those of you who have already subscribed, thank you for showing me the love. For those of you who haven't, listen to your other signs to get a better picture of what's going on with you at the time. And Libra. Until the next moon phase, namaste.